a Chinese birdcage, Bonaparte on St. Helena, South Atlantic. At the approach, a black volcanic rock small thrust from the sea, only the sea around it. The black grows lion brown in parts when near. A green valley swings into view. The harbor comes to life at sight of the ship, this cursed rock. A last place to stash him so he cannot get away one more time and recoup. An outpost farthest from the center of things. Perfect prison, nothing but ocean. The Portuguese once found it quite by accident, no human on it, a minor lump of basalt, hard wart of lava spewed, cooled, named on the feast day of the saintly mother of a Roman emperor. Keep him here so he cannot carve empires from the world and place Caesar, Hannibal, Alexander. The portrait at the Alpine Pass, cape swirled, horse reared back, all show. Someone else sat for it, the face imposed, while he busied himself, while he lifted a king's head where it fell into the basket under the blade and put it on his shoulders. Here he may stand on a dark edge of rock in his tight little suit, a bicorn hat, island mist around him, no substitute available as the artist portrays him. He surveys his ocean kingdom as far as he can see, runs it through his fingers now and in his sleep. Caligula. He does not sing to that. A chariot into the sea to battle the waves, Full bushels of shells gathered in spoils of war, he learns it ends here. Not even his family allowed, beloved empress, and the son declared <coughs> king of Rome. Her likeness hangs on the wall, a bust of a child on the mantel. A few courtiers and retainers keep him company, jailers, house fit with last treasures, though rats trouble it, the mold and damp. A birdcage is ordered for his entertainment, something to cheer him, to watch, elaborate plans drawn up, built by Chinese workmen when they finish the house. Trapped, foul, a mini Versailles, a fontainebleau for birds, the many narrow wooden rods partition on partition to move, as corridors and rooms perch and roost, gaudy and large. The size affords no space for flight, only incessant waddling back and forth with wings folded, the peck and scrape of beak and claw. Glum silence sets in, bird gloom, they can tell. Not much variety in the dusty troops here, a maimed pheasant, doves, a chicken hen, exterior painted red and green, those large animal feet to hold it up. They grip a floor that turns <coughs> on the sea, roof with pagoda trim, dragon flames, clouds of forbidden cities, embellishments from the countries he might have owned given time where the workmen paid, do their families wait. A death mask shows a smooth brow, a face corrected into peace. An amateur's portrait has it in profile, shrunken, gray-white with cancer. No laurel crown, no ermine. He said to free the birds, that the island had no need of more prisoners. <laughs>